Welcome to Lubera, the Swiss fruit and berry plant producers and breeders. My name is Markus Kobold. I'm a founder and breeder of Lubera and Robert on my side, Robert Meyerhofer. And on this side we have a willow-leafed bitter orange. And on that side we have another special bitter orange with a very compact, compact uh, 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 growth, which is named Chinotto or Chinotino, the small Chinese uh, bitter orange. And we thought it, it, it's a good subject to talk, about, uh, to talk about bitter oranges for our English customers because you like them and when you have a continental breakfast or even a toast at breakfast uh, in England you're normally enjoying uh, bitter orange marmalade. So it could be an interesting plant for you at home in UK. So uh, which variety we are talking first about? I think we should start with the normal bitter yeah. orange or the, the leaf. Uh, the, the fruit is like, like a normal bitter orange, only the plant, the leaves are a little bit special with the small willow uh, sized formed leaves. But the, the fruit will, should taste like every bitter orange. In history, uh, bitter oranges were the second types of citrus coming to the Mediterranean, to uh, Middle Europe. Uh, after the, the uh, citrons and uh, this is a variety which was found in the Renaissance t time when people were collecting citrus plants and they were all interested in special types of citrus plants and it's in that time that different types of bitter oranges with, with variegated leaves and this time with a willow type leaf uh, were, were selected and grown so it's an old interesting variety. Let's have a look how it's how it's eating. I, I, I think I start with eating the flesh. I want to try. It's sour in the first moment. Not not very bitter, I think. No, it's not, end, not so it's bitter. A, a no. little, little bit bitter, but not not very bitter. I try the. You could, you could even imagine to eat it like this yeah. because mm -hmm. it's it's good against the thirst. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised, yeah. And now the peel. Mm. Very aromatic mm -hmm. and bitter. And and after what the bitterness is coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it's really like a bitter orange marmalade where you have mm -hmm. some some small pieces of the peel and of the fruits inside the marmalade and you remember the same experience, the same perfume also. Mm -hmm. But interesting, it has character. It's, yeah, it's good, yeah. And I could even imagine to, to drink the, the juice of it as a refreshing drink. In which summer, is yeah, with, with um, water or mm -hmm. also fresh. Yeah. Cool. So interesting. And now, should we try the Chinotto? The Chinotto, yes. What do you know about the Chinotto? Not so much. It's citrus multifolia. You said it's a, it's a bitter orange botanical. Uh, it's, it's called citrus multifolia. You, know, you can see here on the plant why. The leaves are formed like, like uh, mult, small leaves, very ornamental. Yeah, it, it's a it, it, it seems well, the scientists say that it's it, it's a mutation of a bitter orange. Yeah, and it came in the 16th century, begin of the 16th century. It came to the coast of Liguria in Italy, uh, where it was suddenly grown. It's used there because they are becoming mandarin-sized, or fr from from cherry-sized to mandarin-sized, and the small fruits are used to producing sweets. So uh, they are having it in salt water, and after what they are doing the process of uh, of uh, to produce uh, citronate out of it or orangeate out of it, and so it becomes a sweet, which is eaten. So the whole cherry-sized fruits are eaten in total, and then with uh, with uh, with the sugar of the of the uh, orangeade and and with with the fruit, the bitterness of the fruit, it becomes a very interesting sweet. Thing. And in the 19th century, the fruits were also sold to the French and American Navy uh, for the vitamin C for the Navy people against yeah. Corbett. And uh, 
and, uh, and the English Navy had the fruits from Malta and from Sicilia, okay. all the and types the, of fruits. the Germans, I can say as on German, the Germans had only sauerkraut. Yes, so I they are nine, pre that's the reason they are named krauts. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm not a German, I'm a Swiss, I have to say. <laughs> okay, Cinotto. Uh, and the name is Cinotto Cinotino because, like little Chinese, because it was said that the, that, 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 that the first trees were coming from China. Uh, to a port in Liguria. So we have to eat each one a little bit. Yeah, that's for you, Robert. Okay. I also try first the flesh. Sweet, not not much acid. Not n not so uh, juicy. No, not so juicy. A little bit dry, yeah. But round in experience. And this is the peel, I tried now. Also a little bit dry. Not as bitter as the normal bitter orange. But not not as interesting as bitter orange, a little bit. No, a little bit round, a little bit more boring. Yeah, but uh, in Italy they are making drinks out of it and uh, also in the Campari drink. There are some Cinotto in it, some essential oils, some aroma stuff from the Cinotto fruit is in the Campari drink. Okay. So uh, I think in total, and here also I think the ornamental character of the tree is also very important for your culture on patios and on terraces. So you have both an interesting fruit to use in your kitchen for the drinks and a very, very ornamental plant. And here perhaps the fruits are bigger. And you have also ornamental plants with the willow-leafed fruit. So bitter oranges uh, are really interesting and they are also surviving a little bit of more of minus temperatures. So they are said to survive about minus five, minus six degrees. It's one, one of the hardest citrus plants. Yeah. So another reason to cultivate them and to have them already outside uh, end of April, middle of April or beginning of May. So give it a trial, bitter oranges a typical English plant. Hmm. Where have all the flowers gone? I know where. Here you go to Lubera Koyo K with all our breedings and thousands of more plants. Here you can inscribe to our YouTube channel and now pick the flowers.